We're going to look at this first example, understand the costs involved in business and how businesses can make a profit. So looking at the first one, uh, you've been given a, a definition. What is a fixed cost? Costs that do not change based on output. Um, what is a variable cost? Cost that changes based on output. And then below, we've been given a few examples where we need to define which are a fixed and a variable cost. Now, electricity, uh, for your intents and purposes, is a fixed cost. Wood used to make chairs will be variable as the amount of chairs changes. So it's a variable cost. Staffing in this example is fixed. Building insurance is fixed because it will stay the same. And varnish for chairs will be variable because you will need more as you make more chairs. So moving on. Uh, a bicycle manufacturer makes 100 bikes a week. It has the following costs. Rent, £1,000 per week. Bank interest, £500 per week. Raw materials, £100 per bike. And wages, £500 per week. So again, we're going to look at rent being fixed. Banking interest fixed and wages fixed. So we've got a thousand plus five hundred plus five hundred, making two thousand. And then we have a variable cost of a hundred pounds per bike. So uh, we've been asked next to give the uh, formula for total costs, which are fixed costs plus variable costs equal total costs. And you need to be uh, up to speed with your definitions and how to apply those formulas. So in the next activity, uh, Robert is setting up a sandwich shop on a local industrial estate. He hopes to sell the following quantities of sandwiches each month. 2,000 at £3, 3,000 at £2.50 and 2,000 at £2. And he's been given the expenses below. Rent, £1,000 per month. Lighting and heating, £200 per month. Advertising, £200 per month. Part-time help, 500 per month. And then his ingredients vary per sandwich. Two pounds for the three pound sandwich, one pound 50 for the two pound 50 sandwich and one pound for the uh, two pound sandwich. So moving on, I filled out the uh, table like this. For example, I've identified all the revenues coming in from the sandwiches, work them out on a monthly basis by times in two Pound, uh, 2,000 by three pounds and so on and so forth. And then I've worked out the variable costs per month and per year and checked everything, hopefully. Now, to work out my total variable costs, I've added them all up. Uh, to work out my total revenue, I've added those up. And then I'm able to work out my total costs, which are my fixed costs plus my total variable costs. And... Then moving forward, I've been able to work out my total profit by looking at the total revenue minus total cost. And this will give me my gross profit. And then I can times that by 12 to make it on a yearly basis. So hopefully you've been able to do that. Now you can check that and make sure it work in, against my reference point. So lastly is an eight mark question, an evaluation question. So it's uh, he considers increasing the price of all his sandwiches by 50p and spending an extra £10 on making them look attractive. He expects to sell the same quantities. Now, there's a hint here. It's a PEE. So, you know, point evidence explain. And you need three examples, really. I've given a bit of a definition at the beginning, to, which is an increase in price means that he charges more per sandwich and the business will generate more revenue. I could go on to explain what revenue is as well. So the first one is, is one impact of a more expensive, attractive sandwich is that it may be perceived as higher quality. His customer profile could change to people who have more disposable income. Robert, uh, my is charging an extra 50p, which is costing an extra 10p. This represents a contribution of 40p per sandwich. His profit margin 
will be larger for each product range. So that's obviously a very positive then. So I've introduced a negative point at the end. So two positive points, and then we've got a negative point. So any price rise in product could have the effect of reducing demand, customer numbers effectively. Customers on a lower budget may find themselves unable to afford to purchase the sandwiches and take their business elsewhere. So make sure you've checked that against my answer. Your answer for this evaluation question may be different, but this gives you just an example and a method of tackling that question. 